But it's Mark Larry, this is your Tactical Tuesday. The next thing we'll look at is when to high press. We've established how to do it, going together, but when is just as important. There are a couple of things that I like to look at in the opposition when I, when I decide to press. It's who has the ball. You might have a team that plays four at the back, one of their centre backs being weaker on the ball. You might consider him what I like to call a pressing victim. Okay? We'll establish that our right, their right side centre back is our pressing victim in this game. Maybe he's left footed, maybe he's not comfortable on the ball. There are various things that might be the reason why we go and attack this player. So as the ball travels to him, our whole team now knows that that is a moment that we want to go press because he's our pressing victim. So we'll go together and put this player under pressure, make him uncomfortable on the ball, because we've established through our analysis and our scouting that he's a centre back on the opposition that doesn't like the ball at his feet. So we want to go put him under pressure. Forcing him to go long, we move up together, or we can steal the ball off him, which leads to a goal scoring situation from us. Another moment of when to go high press, which is one of my favourites, is any time the ball goes back to the opposition goalkeeper. When the ball goes back to the opposition goalkeeper, this is a great moment when you can get your team into the attacking half of the field and start to establish that territorial dominance. We don't necessarily have the ball, but if we can get players in the attacking half of the field, we can start putting them under pressure. We can start asserting ourselves on the opposition. So a great time to go and step up and press together is when they play back the goalie. We as a team will move up the field together, get to the halfway line as we like to call it, now we start to establish our numerical superiority in this half of the field. You may then have opposition forwards that are lazy, they're now offside. If you're forcing them now to run back and get onside, that's a little victory because now they're further away from your goal. Your goal is step up as well. So when their goalie gets the ball, that is a time that we like to go and either step up as a team or really go and put their goalkeeper under pressure. Now the modern day goalkeeper is getting more comfortable on the ball. You might fa face a team that has a goal that's a great pass for the ball. That might be a time when you just sit off a little bit, allow him to play his pass, and then go press that one. Most of the time, however, the opposition goalie isn't comfortable with the ball at his feet. That is a great opportunity to go and put them under pressure, make them uncomfortable, and if you can win the ball in this area of the field, then you can go and score. So now it's not just pressing to win the ball, it's pressing to go and score. <laughs>